Hello! In this video, I'm going to showcase all of the different features that you'll learn in my upcoming Souls Like Melee Combat System course. You can check out the course using the top link in the description of this video. There are timestamps below, so you can skip to a specific feature if you want to see how it'll look. Quick note, before we get started, the character models I use in this showcase video won't be included, although 90% of the animations that you see will be included in the course, although not all of them, as some of them are marketplace assets, although I still do provide every animation for every feature so that you can learn to implement everything that you see in this video. I will also in the future attach a demo of the whole project so you can play it and kind of see it better. With that said, let's get started. So there's a backstab system. If I go up behind an enemy and they've not noticed me, then I can stealth kill them. Okay, next up we can block attack. So if I hold my um, shield button, we can see I can block the attack. Although if say um, I'm not facing the enemy, then I'll be damaged. If say I'm blocking, although I'm not facing the enemy, then I'll also be damaged. I need to be facing the enemy and blocking in order to basically have my shield work. We will also go over how to create a parry and repost system. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but if say the um, enemy attacks me, I can parry them and then I can do a critical damage attack on them, which will kill them. So in Souls-like games, when you parry enemies, Depending on the enemy type, you can do like critical damage to them. We also go over how to set up that system. We will cover how to make many different types of weapons. So our player character can attack with their fists if they want to. My player character can pick up a um, normal weapon, like a sword, and attack with the sword if they want to. And with the sword, we go over how to set up a combo system. So my player character just did their light attack combo. But my player can also do a heavy attack combo. And if say the player character is running or sprinting and they attack, then they'll do a different animation. The same thing applies if they're falling and they do an attack, they'll do a different animation. So we've gone over the um, fist weapon, the sword weapon. Our player character can also pick up two-handed weapons. When our player character is doing a two-handed weapon, their animations will be a bit different. And if say I do a heavy attack with the two-handed weapon, they'll play a different animation. And then we also go over how to set up dual swords. So with this weapon, our player character will be using two swords, and when they attack, they'll do a different combo. So depending on the weapon that the player character is using will depend on the combo that they um, do. We will also cover how to create a boss battle, and our boss can do many different types of attacks. So he has this air attack he can do if the player is a certain distance away from him. He'll do this air attack. If the player character is hit by this attack, he'll do a knockback animation. So instead of playing his normal hit reaction, if the boss hits the um, player character with certain attacks, he'll be knocked back. So the boss also has some light attacks, which he's doing now. And then he also has a heavy attack. Let's see if he'll do it. Okay, so that was the heavy attack. And then he also has another like whirlwind attack, which he'll do sometimes. Okay, so that was the whirlwind attack. We also go over how to set up directional hit reactions. So if I hit my enemy from the front, then they'll play a certain animation. If I hit them from the back, they'll play a certain animation. Same if I hit them from the right or the left. We will cover how to set up a basic enemy AI. So this AI has two types of attacks that I can do. It can do a light attack. If the player character is a certain distance away from the enemy, then it has a chance to do an attack where I'll basically jump up in the air like it is right now and then do the leap attack. That attack will do more damage. Um, you've seen we can parry this enemy, we can stealth kill them, we can also just kill them normally, so let me just do that. We will go over how to make an equipment system. So when my player character has um, no armor and they're attacked, they'll take a certain amount of damage. Although let's see, I put on some armor. So I'm just going to go over here and put on all of this armor. When I'm damaged, I'll take a lot less damage when I'm hit because I'm wearing armor. We will also cover how to set up patrol points. So we'll make it so our enemy can patrol around different points of our map. And let's say the player character goes in front of the enemy's line of sight. It'll make the enemy break its patrol and it'll start chasing the player character. Although let's say I evade the enemy for longer than 5 seconds because that's how long I set it. This will make it so the enemy will then forget the player and then um, it'll go back to its patrol point. Okay, so I went longer than 5 seconds without the AI seeing me, so it's going to just go back to its normal patrol point. Okay, so there's a potion drinking system. Let's say I drink my potion, 
that will heal the player character's health. Although, if, say, the player character tries to drink their potion and they're damaged, that will prevent them from being able to drink their potion, so they won't be able to be healed. They need to be able to drink their potion without being attacked in order for the player to heal. So I need to basically escape this enemy for a bit, and then drink my potion, and then I'll heal. Hello! Next we have directional rolling. So if my player character is just moving around normally, they can basically just roll in the direction that the player is facing, or moving in. Although if say my player character is locked onto an enemy, they can basically roll backwards, towards the left, towards the right, and forwards. And then with the dodge rolling, we also set up iframes, so during specific points of our player character's um, dodge rolling animation, we can make it so the player character can't be hit. So I basically make it between these frames. Next we have the equip and unequip system. So right now my sword is unequipped, so it's on my player character's hip. And if I draw my um, sword there, then my player character will do a different um, animation. And then I can just put it back. And then my player character will go back to the um, normal um, running animation. It also changes depending on the weapon that we pick up. So this is a two-handed weapon. So if I pick it up, then it's going to go on my player character's back. Because I basically assigned it, so this weapon will basically attach to my player character's back. You'll learn how to make it so we can basically make it so different weapons will attach to different points on our player character's um, body. And also when I um, pick up this weapon, then my player character will do a different um, equip animation. And then when I'm running with this weapon, my player character will also play different animations. And then I can also put this weapon back. We'll also go over how to set up a targeting system. So I can lock onto an enemy and I can also switch my lock on targets. And the player will basically um, switch to basically orient around the enemy that they're locked onto. You may have noticed, we'll also go over how to create a stamina system. And we can make it so when the player character does certain actions, their stamina will drain. And you'll also learn how to make it so when the player character does things like special attacks, like this attack where my player character will leap in the air, it will drain more stamina than if they were to do a normal attack. And all types of things drain stamina like sprinting, blocking, and so on. You also learn how to customize it so you can make it so, depending on the action that the player does, will depend on how much stamina is drained. We will also cover how to make a simple bonfire system. So if the player character lights a bonfire, they'll have a couple of options. They can basically rest, which will basically fully heal them, or they can leave. And then once we've um, rested our bonfire, if my player character were to die, so let me just let my player character die, so when I died, I was respawned at the latest um, campfire that I set. We will also cover how to make some more general things. So you may have noticed there's some UI on the screen and it currently shows what weapon my player character is holding. If I go up to this two-handed axe and I pick it up, you can see the UI at the bottom will update. So we'll also cover some more general things, but I probably mentioned every single main feature that we'll probably cover in this course. And we'll also go over how to set up basic controller support. So those are all of the features. Let me know, is there anything else you'd like to see in it? You can check out the course in the top link in the description of this video. I'm now going to showcase a little demo that I basically put together with all of the different features. Hello, so I put together this little um, project which basically will allow me to play through the whole of my map and showcase all of the different features that you'll learn in the course. So we're going to start off with a character and he has no gear or equipment, although we make it so we can pick up some equipment and the player character will automatically wear that gear go through this door and then there's an enemy he's not noticed me so I'll be able to backstab and stealth kill them and this will um, instantly kill them there's an enemy on this bridge it will recognize me and then it will try to attack me so because I was kind of far away from it it did the um, long range attack although if say we were close towards him he's gonna try and do some normal regular light attacks and I can block these attacks Okay, I missed that. Okay, so I killed him. I can heal. I'm just gonna go here. I kind of positioned this enemy badly, but let's just kill him. Okay, there's an enemy here. I'll try and fight him. I'm gonna try and parry him. 
Okay. Did it too early? Okay. Let me try now. Can I try and parry this guy? Okay, I did it. Then I can do a critical attack on him. And that will kill him. I can go through here. There's another enemy. I kind of positioned him badly, but I'm just going to go behind him and kill him. And then I'm just going to heal because I do not have much health. And again, I positioned an enemy here. Although I'm just going to kill him because it's easier to stealth kill these guys. And then I put a campfire here. And if you rest, it will heal the player. The campfire is pretty simple, and then there's a boss through here. So when we see the boss, we'll get boss music. I'm just going to lower it. So, that's all for this video. Make sure to check out the course, top link in the description of this video if you want to check it out. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.